Hey YouTube, it's Merle again. Thanks for uh, checking me out here. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to discuss or introduce you to the voice meter macro buttons. So hopefully you've already checked out some videos that really get into some detail on voice meter and how to set up uh, the mixer with the inputs. I'm going to focus completely on the macros today. So there are a lot of videos out there that will tell you about voice meter. So I'm just going to run real quick over how I've got my board set up and then get into this. As you can see right here, this first input uh, I have labeled microphone. So my Heil PR40 is coming in on that, what we'll call a strip, because that's what it is, a strip. Um, the second strip here I've got labeled this PC. Uh, that is, if I play uh, default audio from my PC, uh, if I'd play a YouTube video or something, that audio would be played through this strip. I have a third PC out there that I have um, uh, a soundboard on. It's a Linux box. Uh, it's coming in on this strip labeled Podcaster PC. And then I've got some virtual inputs for Google Hangouts and Skype, and you'll see that labeled right there. So... Let's get into the macros. If you don't know how to get the macro window, which is down here at the bottom of the screen, all you have to do is in Voice Meter Banana, click on Menu, and you will see as you scroll down here uh, the list, you'll see macro buttons run on Voice Meter Start. So if you click that or check that, um, when you start Voice Meter, what will happen is this window will come up. Now, I have some buttons already pre-programmed. So if you are doing it for the first time, of course, they'd come up and you can see some blank buttons. That's what the whole thing would look like, the whole window. And as you open this window up, you'll see you have more and more buttons. I think there's, I forget, I counted it one time. Possibly you can have, let's see, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it looks like I can have 60 buttons on this screen right now. Uh, but what I've got is it looks like I have about... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven buttons that have been programmed. So before I get into the actual program of the button, let me let me kind of explain how the board is laid out. And I have a picture here, um, and I'm going to cut to that right now. So what you're looking at is I've highlighted the different strips, and I've labeled them. So hopefully you understand. Um, which strip is what because you use the term strip with the number um, when you program the macro button so as you can see here that first strip which is labeled microphone is strip zero all right the second strip which is labeled this pc is actually strip one the next strip which is labeled podcaster pc is strip two and then the next two strips are strip three and strip four. So that was the Hangouts and the Skype. That's the virtual inputs. So whenever you're referring to one of those strips and you want the action performed on that strip, then you would designate it by the appropriate label. And I'll show you what that looks like now. So we're going to go down here and I'm going to show you the cough button. Again, strip zero right here labeled microphone is my microphone input. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my cough button. So if you have a podcast or a live stream and you have your audio configured to use voice meter, what you can do is you can create a push button so that when you click on it and hold it, it will mute this channel right here strip zero and let me show you what that looks like so i'm going to right click on this button and what i'm going to do is basically here's the button configuration um you can name the button and as you see here i've named i've labeled it cough button and then there's a sub menu and i basically added a description it says push to mute um over here toward the right, you'll see a button type. There's two. You can either do a push button. So when you push and hold, it does the first action. And when you release, it does the second action or the button on, button off. Or you can actually make it a, a two position button where you click it one time and it goes into the first state. You click it again and it goes into the second state. So I've created a push button because I want to push it and hold it and then I just want to release it. 
Um, so I'm labeling it push button. Uh, you can also designate a keyboard shortcut. And here you go. You just click on that. You can pick a plethora of different keyboard shortcuts. But here's where all the magic happens. So what I've done is request for button on trigger in area right here. You'll see that I want strip zero to mute when I push that button or the button is on. And the command is strip zero dot mute equals one. One is on, zero is off. So I want to turn the mute on when I push the button and hold it. When I release the button under here under request for button off trigger out area, I say strip zero dot mute equals zero, which means when I release the button, I want strip zero to unmute. Again, mute equals one is on, mute equals zero is off. So I'm saying when I click the button and hold it, I mute strip zero. When I release the button, then I basically, not basically, I do unmute strip zero. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. Now I'm going to demonstrate. As you can see, my VU meters here. As I talk, they register, they bounce up and down, and you can see the green right here. It says, hey, I'm, I'm not peaking or, or anything like that. So I've got some decent audio coming in here. So what I'm going to do is at the bottom in the window here, you'll see the cough button push to mute. I'm going to say the phrase, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And during um, me saying that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click and hold the button for a second or two, and then I'll release it. What I want you to do is I want you to watch the VU meters, but more importantly, I want you to listen because you're going to hear me um, or hear my audio mute. So here we go. The quick brown, the lazy dog. So as you can see, when I push that button, my VU meters were still bouncing up and down, but you'll notice that the... The colors went gray, and you even saw the mute button here on this strip light up when I hit it, indicating that I muted strip zero. When I let that button go, it returned to the normal state and unmuted. Now, I could click the button and unclick the button, but it's kind of nice just having this little button right here where you click and hold. A little more professional, and it's easier to use. Um, I can click it, and um, that way I don't forget to unclick the mute, right? So if I used the mute button, I'd click it, and I could possibly forget to unclick it, go through a podcast or a broadcast with my microphone muted. So that wouldn't be a good thing. So that's the cough button. Hopefully that makes some sense. If you got any questions, leave me some, uh, uh, leave, leave the question uh, in the below. Uh, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, share it. Um, in the future, what I'll do is I'll move down the line here and I'll create short videos of the other functions that I've created um, and how I use the macro buttons. So, hey, guys, thanks for tuning in, and until next time, we will see you later.